The nation is primed for a fresh fight over education funding. The eastern states are refusing to accept the Commonwealth's plans to rebalance federal spending in favour of Western Australia unless new money is on the table. But the Federal Education Minister says the education budget is already locked in and failure to make the changes will entrench disadvantages for some states. Nick Harmson reports. It's not yet classroom warfare. I'm pleased that what we got today uh, was a fairly constructive discussion. But the state education ministers are shaping up for another schoolyard brawl. We won't accept any less uh, funding for education. I'm absolutely going to fight to the death over it. Already angered by the Commonwealth's refusal to honour the final two years of the Gillard government's Gonski commitments, some states have been further infuriated by the federal minister's plan to recarve the pie. What I want to see is that we use it as effectively as possible and distribute it as fairly as possible. If the federal government goes through with this, uh, they're going to break the hearts of, I think, a lot of parents out there uh, right across Australia. Some states have more to lose than others. According to the Commonwealth's hypothetical school model, high-need students in the Northern Territory receive significantly more federal funding than those in any of the states. At the back of the class is the ACT, South Australia and, by a long way, WA. You cannot run a federation whereby you f penalise a state based upon the fact that they fund their schools better than any other state. Minister Birmingham's plan is nothing more than a plan to pit states against states. If so, mission accomplished. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a Nigel No Friends in this space. I appreciate that. Winning friends won't be easy for Simon Birmingham, with no new money to help sell his message to a disparate band of states and senators. We have an agreement and that agreement sits in legislation. So we don't see how they can do this without getting it through the Senate. I hope the states will work with us to achieve that and that the Senate will work with us to achieve that because otherwise we'll simply be working within that budget in an unfair arrangement. A formal proposal will be put to the Premiers in the first half of next year. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.